Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician, and on this video, we're gonna take a look at our first method of solving a system of equations algebraically. And that first method is called the equal values method. Now before we get into an example problem, I think it might be beneficial to first define what the equal values method is. So let's go ahead and come up with a definition. That definition for us is, we want to take two expressions that are equal to the same variable and set them equal to each other. Now let's go ahead and look at those two different equations that we used in the previous video where we intro system of equations and let's see if we can apply this new method called the equal values method to those equations. So I believe our first equation was y equals 2x plus 1 and our second equation was y equals negative 3x plus 6. Now, let's take this definition and apply it, and let's see if it'll work for our system of equations. Now, it says to take two expressions that are equal to the same variable. Hopefully, we can start to notice that we have this expression here, 2x plus 1, and it is equal to y y equals 2x plus 1. We also see here this expression, negative 3x plus 6, is also equal to y. It says y equals negative 3x plus 6. Because these two expressions here equal the same variable, they both equal y, then our definition says that we can just set them equal to each other. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take 2x plus 1, and I'm going to take negative 3x plus 6, and I'm going to set those equal to each other. So what I now have is an equation with one variable, x, that I now can solve and figure out what x equals. So let's go ahead and solve this out. The first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 1 on both sides. I'm going to subtract 1 so that the 1's on here cancel. I'm moving that positive 1 over to the right side, and I'm just left with on the left side a 2x. I bring down the equal sign. I still have negative 3x and positive 6. Take away 1 ends up as plus 5. So all I've done here is move that constant over to the right side. Well, now that I have my constants all on the same side, let's now move my variable over to the left. I have negative 3x. If I want to move that over, I need to do the opposite of negative 3x. So I'm going to add 3x on both sides. I do that, and these 3x's over here zero out. So on the right side, I'm just left with my positive 5, and 2x plus 3x ends up becoming 5x. Last step here is I just need to divide both sides by the coefficient in front of my variable, which is a 5. I do that, those become a 1, and I'm left with x equals 5 divided by 5, which is 1. And hey, I think that is the exact same x value that we got in our previous video. So we're doing good. We're showing that you could either graph these or you could use this equal values method. And now we know what x is. x is 1. Now we're not done yet. Remember, we're trying to find our solution. And our solution is always an ordered pair. And that ordered pair is an x, y coordinate. So we know that x is 1, but we have to find our y. And so this is the part where you get some free choice here, and you get to pick whether or not you want to use the first equation or the second equation. It truly doesn't matter which one you use, but what you want to do is you want to pick one of those equations. I'll pick the top one. It looks a little easier. And I'm going to take the fact that x equals 1, and I'm going to substitute it in for x so that I can find out my y value. So I'm going to take y equals 2x plus 1. I'm going to change the x to be a 1. 
Now I'm gonna solve this so I can find my y value. Well, let's see, two times one becomes two. Bring down the plus one. And y equals two plus one, which is three. So now I know that my output here for my y is three. So the solution for this system is one comma three. Now I use the top equation. You could have used the bottom equation. I will actually use the other equation to show you that it doesn't matter which equation you use, just as long as you're doing the math correctly. Now you don't have to show the work for both. It's kind of redundant, but I'm showing you just so you know that it truly doesn't matter which equation you use. You should still get the same answer. So let's see, negative three times one, that becomes negative three. Oops, that is not a plus one over there. That is a plus six. Made a little mistake. So I have negative three plus six, and negative three plus six also becomes a positive three. Hopefully you can see here that it doesn't matter which equation you use to find your y value, just as long as you do the math correctly. And that you also write the equation correctly. I wrote a one here on accident, and then I would have gotten the wrong answer. But that is what the equal values method is. You take the two expressions that are equal to the same variable, and you set them equal to each other. You then solve for the variable you have. We had x, so we solve for x. Once we found our x value, we just have to substitute it into one of those equations to get our y value. All right, guys, it's That Math Magician, and I'll see you on the next video.